What's up YouTube? This is Sean. I'm back again with a very unique tutorial. In this video, I'm going to work on the Punisher. But I'm going to work on my own version of the Punisher. I'm going to take two very iconic skull, which is the Punisher and the Terminator. And then make it one really awesome killing machine. Or vengeance machine. Get it? War machine. Since Frank Castle is now a war machine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I hope you guys fix that. I hope you guys dig the video. Well, all right, guys, let's get started. I'm gonna take my high tech template maker, which is also known as a um, what do you call that? Uh, a grocery bag. Yeah, that's what some people would call it. I would use spray adhesive to stick it on Manny, and then I use some mediocre tech template maker which is uh painter's tape which works just as good as duct tape then i'd use the spray adhesive to stick it on some poster board paper this makes it easier to transfer the patterns over to some eva floor mat and i'm using some half inch eva floor mat and for some of the pieces i use some quarter inch floor mat i did some undercuts on the chin which kind of looks like a cod but not really it just kind of hangs over the belt line but yeah it should look something like that now what I like to do is take all these smaller pieces and consolidate them make them one larger piece and then connect all the bigger pieces so I want to start with the left uh, left side of the head that would be uh, my left no your left no my left well it doesn't matter you kind of have to do both sides just got to mirror the uh, patterns notice for the eyes I use quarter inch foam for the eye socket I guess I wanted to have the the thickness of the foam stagger each other and it kind of gives it that uh, really cool effect and when I told my friends I was gonna make the Punisher and they were like but you already have one and I was like yeah but somebody borrowed it and never brought it back but I want to make me a really cool one like Terminator cool you know so who'd ever thought you'd have a Terminator slash Punisher or would it be Punisher slash Terminator because the main character of this build would be the Punisher. Yeah. So I've got the main portion of the chess piece put together and it's looking kind of funky. Yeah, I'm sort of questioning the teeth he's got there. It's got like some woodpecker teeth kind of, I don't know like buck tooth yeah but anyways we'll figure this out as soon as I get it all together so I can make my changes once I've seen it all together cuz sometimes you gotta step back and kind of analyze what you did and be like man that look goofy I know some of you guys say man you make cosplay look so easy well that's the magic of video editing because this is actually my second or third attempt at making the Punisher version T800 yeah and that's what I'm gonna call it sticking with it and this is probably the third nose job I gave this guy and uh, I actually like it so I'm gonna stick with that too now I took my wood burner without any tip on it and it gave me this really cool effect when I just plunge it right in and I'm using a spatula flat tip for the accents or these other lines right here I'm trying to go as close to the uh, reference picture as possible although this is a skull going on to a human's chest which probably won't be as proportionate to the reference picture now that I got all my strappy things on I'm gonna seal some of these gaps with this quick seal you can get this at your hardware store is basically for sealing kitchen stuff or sink stuff but yeah that's where you would find it if you want to look for it at the hardware store now I would dab my finger in some water so I can get the caulking all nice and smooth uh, so I decided to go back and fix the grill because I'd rather have some mean looking grill than some woodpecker choppers I guess I don't know so I drew some teeth with some vampire fangs just for poops and giggles then I'm gonna use my wood burner and then when I burn out the details this will kind of give it some definition or two three ish dimensional 
whatever. Now I thought about taking some 5 million craft foam and cutting out all these teeth and then rounding it off and then gluing it on but man this is just cosplay and I'm trying to get stuff done and this looks pretty legit enough for me but uh yeah just an idea if you guys want to try it out because that's probably too much work for me you know what I'm saying and right here I am gluing on my trap pieces pieces or the trap muzzle I don't know how you pronounce that word but yeah it's the trap strap that's what I'm gonna call it now normally I would make this one piece and connect it directly to the back piece but I decided to go and put some velcro on here because old Danny boy over there in Dallas wants to borrow my cosplay but none of them fits him so yeah I'm making this one adjustable so it can go from medium to uh, extra large but I personally think he's a 3XL he's just denying it he tells me he's a large but I don't think so he's a lot bigger than that now I'm sealing the end of my elastic with some velcro sewn on and getting all my surfaces prepped so I can glue everything down now I usually put two thin coats of barge contact cement instead of one big glob because when you stick a big glob to a big glob you, you have this spider web thingy on there so yeah two thin coats is good and you want to make sure your contact cement is dry before you put them together that way the um, parts don't split apart from each other I've seen some work where people send me and it looked like they use way too much contact cement now that I got my rib guard, my trap strap put together, you can see where it can be adjusted. And I use a lot of elastic so that way you can breathe because breathing is a thing nowadays. Just saying. Now I've already got it mod podged and sealed and let it dry overnight. I'm going to mask off my black fabric area because of overspray. I don't feel like cleaning it. And I went over with some sterling silver acrylic paint that I picked up from Walmart for under $2. That's all I needed. I put about two coats. Now these bigger areas I like to use a paintbrush. But uh, I figured why not just airbrush the whole thing. And so far it's looking pretty plain. But once I start adding my shading in there. Now that's a game changer. Because that's where everything starts to come to life. And doesn't look so new-ish. Now when you're applying shading, you don't want to put too much paint down. You want to lower your feet and step back a little bit. And then just kind of move your airbrush quickly past the area. Now I figured I'd go ahead and do the eyes a little bit darker for contrast purpose. And yeah, just kind of work with it. Because it's just shading. But you don't want to completely cover the silver. Because... You want that uh, shading to add some contrast. Now I'm going to brush his teeth a little bit with some black paint. And then I'm going to wipe off the axis. So that way paint can get into the crevice. Or nooks and cranny. Or whatever. And then I went with a fine brush. Well the finest I had. Which was not that fine. And I went in and painted all the lines. And made it stick out just a little bit better. So far, so groovy, and I hope you're digging what I'm cooking. Now it's time to peel off that masking tape and then kind of look at that plain rib guard. Now, I want to put some more accents there, but it took me a while to figure out what I'm going to do there. So I decided to put some shotgun grenade bullets. I don't know if that's a real thing. I ain't no weapon expert, but it seems legit to me. I took these toothbrush holders and I trimmed it down a little bit. Took a can of flat black paint so I can spray the tip of them because acrylic paint doesn't really stick to this kind of plastic, but this uh, aerosol can paint will. And then I took some metal tape and I trimmed it down to like three inch and whatever. And I'm gonna wrap the uh, body of the toothbrush holder just like that. Now it's starting to look kind of like a bullet. Then again, I've never seen a explosion bullet thingy. I took some bronze chocolate copper-ish paint and I painted the tip of them just like that. And I went back and sprayed the uh, metal foil tape. And then I'm wiping the axis off with uh, steel wool. And it's giving me this um, bullet looking thingy. 
Now I capped off the bottom with some EVA foam and I'm sticking it onto the rib guard with some hot glue and I got some elastic which I'm using some tongue depressor well I should be using my tongue depressor to be holding it down but uh, yeah kind of strapped it on just like that and uh, voila I think that looks kind of cool maybe I don't know I gotta step back and look at it for a little bit and maybe I might change my mind but let me know in the comment section below what do you think does that look pretty cool I think it does Alright guys, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope y'all learned something. And uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with the rest of the armor yet. I know I want to make some really cool guns. I mean, I, I assume this Punisher is killing Terminator, so uh, let's make it really futuristic. I don't know. So leave your suggestions in the comment section below because I really don't know where I'm going to go with it now. I just got this far. I thought that was kind of cool. Let's build this Punisher together. And uh, if you guys are wanting the Netflix version Punisher, don't worry, that's coming up pretty soon too. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. Now if you guys are looking to make Punisher version T800, check the link in the description below and it'll take you to the templates. That is if that's what you're into. I mean, if that is what you're into. I guess that's it for this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Drop a comment because I love the comments. Follow me on Instagram, like me on my Facebook, and uh, subscribe to this channel for more awesome, cool cosplay build tutorial videos and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.